Okay, let's start Sentinel software. And this is for my SDS 100 scanner. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update the database, US and Canada. Once a week on Mondays, they come out with a new update for the master list. This is the old one right here, database, June 28, 2020. Now it's Wednesday here, I think. What is it? Yeah, Wednesday, <laughs> sorry. And I could have updated this Monday, but I was too busy. So we're going to do that right now. And how you do that is you go up here and you click on Update Master Database. Checking Unit End Server. And now it's going to update the Sentinel software. Not your scanner, the Sentinel software. Goes pretty fast. This does not make any changes to your favorite lists. You have to do that manually. Done. Now, if you look down here, when I press that OK button, this is going to change to the new, do new database version. Okay, here we go. Watch. There you go. Now I've got an up-to-date database of all of US and all of Canada. And again, it hasn't touched my favorite list. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to update my scanner. So, sitting over here. There it is. Now, what you want to do is you have to put it in USB mass storage mode. And this is how you do it. You see this button right here? That's the one we're going to be using later. So I'm going to start the scanner up. And it's going to load my favorites. Then it's going to ask me if I want to go into USB mass storage. When I see that, I'm going to hit the E, yes button. Okay, here we go. Start it up. And it's going to load my favorites I got in there. And then it's going to ask me. USB, select USB, yes. It's a little bit of a mess there. I can't help that. But it does say USB mass storage. Now your scanner has to be in USB mass storage. Anytime you want to send it anything. If you're sending the database. If you're sending your favorites. That's how it's got to be. Now. I've got the new database in Sentinel. I'm going to send it to the scanner. How you do that is you go up here to scanner and you click on write to scanner. All right. Your number will be different, but if you see this, you're all okay. Now, what you want to do is put a check mark in force write full database. And when I click OK, it's writing to the scanner now. Okay, it's writing the updated database that I put in Sentinel here. Now this takes a little longer to download into your scanner. 
but I'm going to do it in real time so you'll see there's no problem. It just takes a little while. Be patient. Don't touch anything. Let it do its thing. Um, again, I'm going to say it because people always ask, what I'm doing, does this make any difference to my favorites? Oops, sorry, I can't bring them up now. The answer is no. Okay, anytime you want to make your favorites list up, you have to do it manually. And uh, you have to update them after you manually make the uh, changes in them. So this is moving along. And uh, it gets down about here, it just scoots through. But it's got a lot of information it has to uh, send to your scanner. And just let it do its thing. And now when I'm finished, I have this update in Sentinel. And now I have it going into my scanner. It's asking me if I want to change any of this. No. And it's all done. There it is. You've just updated Sentinel with the new master list. And you've just done your scanner. And all you do is press the on off button on your scanner and now it'll reload uh, my favorites list and now I have everything ready I'm gonna hit no I don't want to go into USB mode anymore I'm all done and now my scanner is updated with the new database and that's it I hope this has helped you enjoy your scanner take care